climate change is the defining issue of our time, and we are at a defining moment. I have faith in what CSIT is doing, because you are invoking, in fact, a force, an army, that in fact will not surrender. And I'm talking about our children. The Carbon Zero Initiative of Trinidad and Tobago sees it as a non-profit organization dedicated to TNT becoming a carbon neutral country and a leader in sustainable practices. It is intended to, to bring out in the school the awareness about matters of climate change and the environment and lead to action. The CZ team paid a visit to the 16 finalist schools and invited 10,000 students to become ambassadors in the fight against climate change. Now it's on to the knockout stages. The competition is fierce. The teams are prepped and ready. Who will win the first prize of a study tour to Costa Rica? Here are the rules. Each match consists of three rounds. Each team member is asked one question per round. Every correct answer earns 10 points. If the answer is incorrect or time runs out, the opposing team has a chance to steal for five points. At the end of every round, each team is asked a team question with 20 points. The winning team will move forward in the competition. Hello to you there and welcome to the grand final of the CZIT National Secondary Schools Climate Quiz. I'm your host, Sachin Ramsdabag. It is indeed a great pleasure to have you locked on with us today. And of course, battling in the big finals from Belmont St. Francois Girls College on my right and on my left, battling Bishops Anesty and Trinity College Sixth Form there from Trin City. It's a battle of the North Schools where all the Central and South Schools were eliminated. So indeed, it is a battle of the North Schools. I want to invite, before we get things cracking, Mr. Baldeo Singh, the founder of CZIT, to bring some greetings in this uh, the final shoot yeah the grand finals of the Caesar quiz thank you very much mr ramsberg you've done a great job with thank this you very game. much sir well here we are the air is definitely rare we have the two schools that have come forward into the finals this competition started in august of last year with visits to 140 schools then 112 schools all over Trinidad and Tobago took part in the preliminary rounds. We did a baseline study at 28 secondary schools. And then we had 16 schools moving forward into the finals. And now we have Bishops, Anstey, Trinity College East, and St. Francois College facing off in the finals for the grand prize of a trip for the winning team to Costa Rica. I'd like to invite some of our special guests uh, for the finals, including the patron of CZIT, His Excellency Justice Anthony Camona, and uh, Ambassador for Costa Rica, together with Mr. Manswell of Swimcall and Ms. Leong Poi of Nihurst, to greet the teams prior to the finals. And Mr. Prem Nanlal will finally say the last words of greeting before they enter into the final. Well, as Donald says, it's a great pleasure to be at this stage. Uh, uh, I have a little confession to make. I am one of those Trinidadians who produce millions of tons of CO2 as a result of my work in the petrochemical sector. I used to produce ammonia, and as you know, from the chemistry, every ton of ammonia you produce, you produce one and a half tons of CO2. So for the millions of tons of CO2 of ammonia that we produce in Point Lisas, in methanol and ammonia, and the other uh, petrochemicals, I am one of those founding members um, that contributed to using natural gas to transform into these products, and our ca carbon footprint was quite high. So that's why I'm committed at, at my age to reverse this, to see that this young generation 
who in the next 50 or 60 years, when you reach our age, um, um, wherever I am at that time, I will look down and say, well, I am pleased with the effort that we have taken to reverse the effect of climate change and to make Trinidad and Tobago, which is local, to make the Caribbean, which is national, and indeed the world, which is international, <coughs> a green, serene place in which to live. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Gentlemen, I would like to invite you to please take your wonderful seats in the audience as we get to battle right about now. And we have Tristan, who is sweating profusely. Tell me why you're sweating profusely. For obvious reasons. Yeah, I would imagine yeah. that very much. You know what? All high fives all around on my right hand side, on my left hand side. We're gonna get this job done. You guys have done marvelous to reach this far. Let's see how it goes. Right about now on your first question in this big finals. What has the government of Trinidad and Tobago done to decrease greenhouse gas emissions in the transport sector? Is it A, decrease the duration of traveling time? B, promoting CNG as an alternative fuel to gasoline and diesel? Is it C, modified state-owned vehicles so that they produce less emissions? Or is it D, they are promoting the reduction of the use of private vehicles? B, promoting CNG as an alternative fuel to gasoline and diesel. The answer is very much correct. Good start to the final on a positive note indeed. And we jump across to Alyssa. And Alyssa, approximately how many megatons of carbon dioxide or CO2 are emitted by volcanoes every year? Is it A, 200, B, 500, C, 1,000, or D, 2,000? A, 200. Very much correct. Yes, it is 200. <laughs> volcanoes, in fact, they really do produce lots of carbon dioxide. We go across to Kristen. Kristen, your question, the Montreal Protocol bans the production of which of the following? Is it A, ozone depleting substances? Is it B, plastic products? Is it C, oil and natural gas? Or is it D, landfill leachate? A, ozone depleting substances. Very much correct, yes. <laughs> Two questions on the truck going for positive answers. We jump across to Solange. Solange, how are things there? Everything's good? Sure. On your end of things? Sure. I'm sure it is. Let's see how it goes. How are fossil fuels converted to energy? Is it A, conversion, B, combustion, C, production, or D, decomposition? B, combustion. Very much correct. Yes, combustion, indeed. Move across to Laurelie. Laurelie, my head girl, what's up? Everything's fine? Loving it, man. Approximately how many people lack access to clean cooking solutions and are exposed to dangerous levels of air pollution? Is it A, 3 million, B, 1 billion, C, 2 billion, or D, 3 billion? D, 3 million. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We move across to player number three. Kristen, you have a chance. C, 2, mil two billion. Unfortunately, that answer is also incorrect. The proper answer should read, D, three billion indeed. All right, Kristen, let's see how it goes with you. Approximately what percentage of heat is absorbed by the oceans? Is it A, 25%? Is it B, 40%? Is it C, 60%? Or is it D, 90%? D, 90%. Very much correct. Yes, that is the answer. D is the answer. Move across to Shakira. And Shakira, your question is as follows. What are the three major greenhouse gas emitting sectors in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, tourism, power generation, and transport? Is it B, agriculture, manufacturing, or transport? Is it C, power generation, industry, and transport? Or is it D, industry, agriculture, and tourism? C, power generation, industry, and transport. Very much correct. Yes, that is the answer. Indeed. Wonderful is that answer. Move across to Eli. And Eli, my friend, here it is. Where is the largest ice sheet in the world located? Is it A, Antarctic, B, Greenland, C, Iceland, or D, Greece? A, Antarctic. Very much correct, yes. It is located in the Antarctic. And we move across to Brittany. And Brittany, here it goes. Which of the following is not a method that government has implemented to mitigate the effects of climate change? Is it A, exploring incentives for the importation of hybrid and, f and fuel cell vehicles? Is it B, improvement in the efficiency of public transport? Is it C, resolving environmental complaints through voluntary compliance? Or is it D, maximization of the use of CNG fuel? C, resolving environmental complaints through voluntary compliance. 
Very much correct. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Wonderful. We're moving on quite swiftly, indeed. And we jump across to Joshua. And Joshua, your question, my friend, my basketballing friend, goes like this. What are the three key responsibilities of the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries? Is, the, is it A, distribute, enforce, control the energy and mineral sector of Trinidad and Tobago? Is it B, create, innovate, enforce the energy and mineral sector of Trinidad and Tobago? Is it C, monitor, control, regulate the energy and mineral sector of Trinidad and Tobago? Or is it D, develop, protect, serve the energy and mineral sector of TNT? C. Monitor, control, regulate the energy and mineral sector of Trinidad and Tobago. Are you sure about that? Yes. Very much correct, it is. Well done. Well done indeed. Both teams battling head to head, answering questions positively on both sides of the table. Let's see what the group stage have to offer. Remember, 15 seconds you've got, St. Francois, here it is right about now. Why is the ratio of carbon 12 higher than that of other carbon isotopes in the atmosphere? The ratio of carbon-12 is higher in the atmosphere because fossil fuels, um, the, the, um, the fossils that produce fossil fuels are mainly made from carbon-12. So that when we burn these fossil fuels, that is what is released really most, carbon-12. Judges, we await your response. Certainly wait, and uh, that answer is absolutely right, yes. Well done. Well done indeed. That's the cool thing about a final. You just have to wait for the judge's decision to make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. It must be perfect. Let's go with Alyssa, who's going to be answering the group question. And here we go, ladies and gents. Why does methane have a slower global warming impact over a longer time frame than carbon dioxide? Uh, methane has a slower global warming impact over a longer period of time because carbon dioxide actually takes a longer amount of time to decompose, so carbon dioxide stays longer in the atmosphere, meanwhile methane would have long been um, broken down. Let's see if that answer is. It is correct. Yes, it is. Well done. Absolutely brilliant stuff from both schools. And you would expect stuff like this in a grand final. Both teams, uh, St. Francois Girls College and, of course, Bishop's Annecy Trinity College G6 form, answering quite impressively. My guess is that at the end of this round one, the scores might very well possibly be tied. But I, wanna, I just want to ask uh, Kristen something about St. Francois Girls. Um, what sort of extracurricular activities do you all do at St. Francois? Well, there's swimming, football, dragon boat, pan, choir, a range of activities. A range of activities. And which one are you involved in? Right now, I'm in none at the moment, but mm -hmm. I was in Dragon Boat for a time. Lovely. Dragon Boat and Dragon Boat Racing is certainly uh, coming up in Trinidad, right? Yes, it is. Very much so. Let's see how things go. And we just have to wait and see. But what I can tell you is that Bishops, Anastasia and Trinity, they're poised at 70. And St. Francois Girls, they're just behind at 60. <laughs> Welcome back. We are in round number two of this uh, huge final and Tristan is on my right hand side and we go straight to it. How about it? A person who is guilty of an offense under the Litter Act is liable to imprisonment for two months, four months, six months or eight months. C, six months. Very much correct. Yes. Six months is certainly your correct answer. Alyssa, we move straight to it. Approximately how much waste is generated daily in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, 5 tons? Is it B, 10 tons? Is it C, 500 tons? Or is it D, 1,000 tons? D, 1,000 tons. Very confident answer. Yes, that is very much so. 1,000 tons indeed. We move across to Kristen. We had Tristan. We move to Kristen right about now. Don't get mixed up with the names whatsoever. They, looked a lot, they look a lot different. One is medium in height. The other is quite short. Uh, nonetheless, <laughs> And let's see how things roll with you. According to Sustainable Development Goal 7, 50% of people from what country or region are functioning without electricity? Is it A, China, B, India, C, Sub-Saharan Africa, or D, the Philippines? C, Sub-Saharan Africa. Very much correct. That is the answer. C is the correct answer. 
move along to Solange and Solange, you are certainly a very confident individual. Congrats to you on that. Confidence is certainly something you should move forward with. Scientists are able to know temperatures from millions of years ago by studying what? A, ancient, ancient human artifacts. B, animal fossils. C, tree rings and ice cores. D, they cannot know temperatures from, a million, from millions of years ago. C, tree rings and ice cores. Very much correct. That is the answer. It's a very cool process that these scientists are embarking on. We go to my head girl, Laura Lee from St. Francois Girls, and she's uh, not smiling with me whatsoever, nonetheless. But I, I think I know why. You're very focused, right? Yeah, she is very focused, indeed. Let's see. Approximately, how long will it take to reach one trillion tons limit of carbon emissions based on current emission rates? Is it A, 21 years? Is it B, 24 years? Is it C, 27 years? Is it D, 30 years? E, 21 years. That answer is very much correct. Yes, A is the answer. We go to Kristen from Bishop's Honesty. Which areas are more prone to health problems linked to smog because of global warming? Is it A, urban? Is it B, desert? Is it C, rural? Is it D, permafrost? A, urban. Very much correct. Urban is the answer. Almost everybody getting their answers right in this particular round. Shakira, you're up next. Which of these statistical statements is true with regard to sustainable development goals? Is it A, 14% of the global population still lacks access to modern electricity? Is it B, 2 billion people rely on wood and coal for cooking and heating? Is it C, energy production accounts for around 60% of total greenhouse gases? Or could it be D, the share of renewable energy in the final energy consumption has reached 16.5%. B, 2 billion people rely on wood and coal for cooking and heating. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We jump across to player number four, Eli, who has a chance to seize five points. C, energy production accounts for around 60% of total greenhouse gases. Very much correct. That is the correct answer to that particular question. Eli, your official question after stealing five points. Let's see how it goes. How many inches have sea levels risen since the year 1901? Is it A, 6, B, 8, C, 10, D, 12 inches? B, 8. Very much correct. B is the answer to that question. We jump across to Brittany. Brittany, your question. What are the four main steps involved in the water cycle? Is it A, evaporation, percolation, precipitation, and flooding? Is it B, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and infiltration? Could it be C, evaporation, precipitation, stem flow, and transpiration? Or possibly D, evaporation, condensation, transpiration, and leaching? B, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and infiltration. That is very much correct. Yes, it is. Well done. And we move across to Joshua. Joshua and I are going to have a chat in a little bit, nonetheless, all right? So you can look forward to that. Stay put. As for 2016, 4.2 million deaths of urban dwellers were due to what type of pollution? Is it A, ambient air pollution? Is it B, water pollution? C, land pollution? Or D, all of the above? D, all of the above. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. Brittany, you have a chance to add five additional points to your team's tally. E, um, it Ambient air pollution. Very much correct. Yes. <laughs> Ambient air pollution is the answer. And uh, certainly they would need that five points. And this team would also need that five points because head to head, I'm sure it's just going to be a five points separating each other. But we just have to wait and see. Team questions, they're up next. Remember, ladies, 15 seconds. Here it is. What is climate change? Um... Climate change, those are the adapt, that is the way in which the earth would adapt to the um, excess greenhouse gases that are emitted into the atmosphere due to the burning of fossil fuels and whatnot. We await the judge's response. Can you repeat that question a bit louder? Climate change is the way in which the earth would adapt to the excessive emissions of foss of GM, I mean, greenhouse gases into the atmosphere by the burnings of fossil fuels which changes temperatures and whatnot. That answer is absolutely right. Well done. The judges have given their answer and they've made their judgment. Ladies, gentlemen, 15 seconds. Let's do this. 
Let's see how it is. What is a government policy initiative that is geared towards making a reduction in Trinidad and Tobago's carbon footprint? Let's go. Friday initiatives was um, Friday initiatives was CNG. Providing initiatives for CNG. Providing incentives for CNGs. Cars, CNG cars. That answer is very much correct, yes. You had me on the edge there for a second. I was thinking, yeah, they possibly get it. No, did they not? Um, just have to wait and see. Yes, they eventually got it. You know, uh, as I mentioned before, I want to have a little conversation with Joshua here. You're a sportsman. Uh, how many times for the week do you train? Um, right now, I don't train for any sport, but I do work out a few times a week. Wow, what type of workout do you do? Um, more weightlifting. Weightlifting, yes. so you're a very strong man. Yeah, I can see you so. All right, what about, <laughs> what, what about the basket? I mean, and that, and while, while that is being said, how many push ups can you do for the day? Um, in one go, probably 50. Wow, 50 push ups. That's, that's, let, me get, let me tell you something, that's 48 more than I can do. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joshua. Well, this is how things are going to unfold. The judges have made their decision, and let's see how things go. Bishops Anesty and Trinity College, they are poised at 135. St. Francois girls, just 10 points behind at 125. We are back with this final round of competition. Who is going to head across to Costa Rica? We just have to wait about 10, 10 to 15 minutes just to wait and see, all right? Let me see how it goes with Tristan in this battle of East versus West. Ladies and gents, here it is. Which of the following is a greenhouse gas? Is it A, xenon, B, boron, C, helium, D, water vapor? D, water vapor. Very much correct. A good start to the third round. Get things kicked off on a positive note. Alyssa is breathing a sigh of relief. So that's, a nice, that's a nice way to get things going. Alyssa, your question. Following the 2018 COP24, countries' national targets will be reviewed every year, every two years, every five years, or every 10 years? C, every five years. Very much correct. Positive answer from Alyssa. Move across to Kristen. And Kristen, your question is as follows. How many atoms of oxygen does one molecule of ozone gas have? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5? B, 3. Very much correct. 3 is the answer. Well done. Well done. The battle is fierce. Solange, let's see if you can continue in that fashion. What is the biggest deterrent to renewable energy advancement in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, lack of industry support? B, difficulty in building renewable energy products. C, lack of interest in the population. Or D, subsidized cost of electricity. C, lack of interest in the... Wait, so. A, lack of industry support. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go across to Kristen. You have a chance to seize this opportunity. D, subsidized cost of electricity. That is very much correct. Yes, it is. Things are happening, it is very stiff. Let's see, Laurelie, let's see how it goes. Besides CO2, what pollutants are released through the combustion of coal? Is it A, carbon dioxide and water? Is it B, carbon oxides, nitrogen dioxides? Is it C, sulfur oxides or nitrogen oxides? Is it D, phosphates or nitrates? C, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides. Very much correct, well done to the head girl from St. Francois. We jump across to Kristen, and Kristen, who is also in the Honor Society, she's a prefect. Wow, very impressive indeed, Kristen. In Sustainable Development Goal 13, based on current trends, what is the surface temperature likely to rise by this century? Is it A, 2 degrees? Is it B, 3 degrees? Is it C, 4 degrees? Or D, 5 degrees? A, 2 degrees. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go across to Laurelie. B, three degrees. Very much correct, yes. Three degrees is the answer. Shakira, you're up next in this battle. What is the main contributor to the emission of greenhouse gases in the transport sector of Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, public vehicles? B, commercial and private planes? C, boats and ships? Or D, private vehicles? 
the private vehicles. Very much correct. Yes, that is the answer. <laughs> private vehicles certainly is the answer. Eli, would you like to go to Costa Rica? Yes. <laughs> me too, brother. I would like to go myself. Let's see. Would you take me along? See what I can do. All right, all right. I'll pay my F here, no problem. Let's see how things go. Which act created the first legal framework for the management of environmental related issues in TNT? Is it A, the Protection of New Plant Varieties Act, B, the Litter Act, C, the Environmental Management Act, or D, Conservation of Wildlife Act? C, the Environmental Management Act. Very much correct. Yes, Costa Rica is one step away. And Brittany. You have a chance to go on an airplane. Let's see how this will go. Would you be able to go to Costa Rica or not is the question. Let's see. What are some domestic sources of chlorofluorocarbons? Is it A, microwaves, B, water heaters, C, air conditioners, or D, ovens? Um, C, air conditioners. That is a very cold answer. It is correct. Yes, air condition. <laughs> air condition is the answer. Very cool atmosphere if you need that air conditioners. Let's see, Joshua, if you can uh, score another point in the basket. How can carbon emissions be reduced in the transport sector? Is it A, technical improvements? Is it B, behavioral changes? Is it C, infrastructure changes in public transport? Or D, all of the above? D, all of the above. Very much, brother. Well done, yes. D, all of the above. And that brings us to the end of the final round of individual questions. But most importantly, we enter into the group battle with St. Francois Girls College. This is your question. Reminder, 15 seconds. Name two main critical risks of global warming. Okay, so the two main critical risks of global warming would be an increase in the sea levels, and this increase in sea levels can cause um, coastal floodings and decreased production of crops. Judges, do we have a response? Decreased production crops. of crops. Crops, yeah. Decreased production of crops. We await the judges to make their decision. That answer is correct, yes, it is correct. 20 points. Added to the total after much deliberation, eventually the judges said, Yeah, it's a okay. Let me see if Alyssa and her team can get this one right. Remember, ladies and gents, 15 seconds. What is the Paris Agreement? The Paris Agreement is an act to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases in countries. They cannot hear your response. Can you just please res respond a bit loud at this time? The Paris Agreement is an act to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases by countries. We await the judge's answer. That answer is very much correct. 20 points added to the tally. Wow. Things are getting heated. Things are certainly warming up. Boy, oh boy. Which team is going to head across to Costa Rica for this grand prize? Who's going to be the victorious one today? Is it going to be St. Francois Girls College on my right? Is it going to be Bishop's Anesty and Trinity College Sixth Form on my left? A battle of East and West. We just have to wait and see. Just a reminder of the acronym CZIT. It simply means the Carbon Zero Initiative of Trinidad and Tobago. I'd really like to thank everybody for joining us today. All the uh, Correspondents and all the correspondents. Yes, they are here today. Round of applause for all the persons involved today. <laughs> Not only are members of the Caesar family, but of course the patron, uh, former president Anthony Comona, and uh, lots of other representatives from various uh, companies across TNT. Remember, you can do your part as well to reduce the carbon footprint and also reduce uh, pollution. And of course, recycle. Yeah, plastic bottles recycling in Trinidad, and also glass is also available. Let's see. How this is going to go. The grand finals of the Seize It Secondary Schools Climate Quiz. The results are as follows. Bishop's Anesty Trinity, 185. St. Francois Girls, 205. Well done to St. Francois Girls winning this competition in a fine fashion. Indeed, indeed.
And just a reminder, don't pack your clothes in a garbage bag. Make sure it goes into a suitcase because you're going on an airplane, all right? Very soon, I would hope so. I'd like to invite the uh, founder of Seize It, Mr. Donald Baldeo Singh, to please join me on set as we lend some congratulations to the winners of the Seize It National <laughs> Secondary School Climate Quiz. A wonderful initiative indeed, Mr. Baldeo Singh. Please, I'm sure you'll be very much happy. Well, I can start to breathe again. This was a fantastic competition. Very, very close before. <laughs> Bishop Sansti Trinity Colleges, you've had a very good run in this competition. You deserve a lot of commendation. You covered a lot of very important topics on climate change, and you brought it out in the competition. Unfortunately, today, you were up against a team that wasn't going to go home without packing their bags when they get home. And um, St. Francois, you did very well to come through this competition from 140 schools to be crowned now as the top secondary school in Trinidad and Tobago in the area of climate change. <laughs> Which of course now means you have a lot of responsibility because you are going to have to take that and guide not only other schools, not only your homes, but the whole country in terms of what we have to do to arrest the causes of climate change. I want to thank all the schools. There were six, 140 schools that started, and we will show shortly the 16 schools that competed at this stage. And for you to come out uh, on top, you must be very, very happy with your performance. All the best. I want to now invite some of our uh, very honored guests at the uh, finals today, starting with His Excellency Justice Anthony Camona, uh, fifth president of the Republic and patron of CISIT. <laughs> Her Excellency Liz Lily Edgerton, ambassador for Costa Rica, <laughs> who will no doubt say all the requirements for going to Costa Rica. <laughs> Mr. David Manswell, Operations Manager at Swimcall, one of our key sponsors. <laughs> Ms. Joanne Leong Poi, uh, representative of Nehurst and member of the organizing committee for the, co the competition. <laughs> Dr. Terry Mohammed, Deputy, Deputy Dean at the Faculty of Science and Technology at UWI. <laughs> Mr. Prem Nanlal, head of the advisory board of CZIT. I'm very pleased to invite Ms. Melanie and Ms. Claudette to come on set and to bring some of the tokens that we will be handing out. And I invite His Excellency Justice Anthony Camona to hand these out to the contestants today, as well as their alternates. Since the St. Francois girls are going to go home and celebrate, I'm inviting Ambassador, Ambassador for Costa Rica, Ambassador Lily Edgerton, to pass to them some things to use for their celebration. <laughs> This is all uh, plastic that will be recycled.
We invite the teachers from each, one, one teacher from each of the school that led the schools to receive a token of our appreciation for all the excellent work. And these will be handed by our patron, Justice Anthony Camona. I invite Mr. Manswell from Swimcall to make a few comments. Swimcall has been a great partner for Seize It on this, in this competition. Pleasant afternoon and congratulations to both teams. Congratulations to the team on the right, the winning team. Job well done. We at Swimcall, we are extremely excited and we are pleased to partner with Seize It in this great initiative because we see this as a catalyst for change in the organization. I'm looking out at the audience and I'm seeing future leaders, future CEOs, future ambassadors, future presidents, future marketing managers. You all now possess in your hand the ability and the possibility to bring forth change in our environment. And in that regard, or in this regard rather, I say and I, I told the organization, the organizers, sorry, I've seen that that was quite encouraged and pleased with what I saw this morning. And based on that, we also have a role to play. Thank you very much, Mr. Mansell. I invite Dr. Terry Mohammed of UWI to say a few words. I'd like to congratulate the winners and Francois, and I'd like to also congratulate Bishop Ansi and Trinity Colleges for giving them a nice hard fight. Right? I think you all are the future of the country, right? Um, you all are are going to be cleaning up the mess that we made, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, we take responsibility for it. Right? But you guys are the future, and um, this program, Seize It, is giving you the initiatives to do that. And I would like to thank the organizers of Seize It for being such a, um, making such a new book house. Thank you. Thank you. Now I invite Ms. Joanne Leong Poi of Nehurst, who has been a partner, member of the organizing committee for the conference, uh, the competition. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I just also like to share the sentiments of congratulations to all teams here today on making it this far. It's a really big step, and especially to the winning team, you have a really great prize to look forward to. Um, I visited Costa Rica, and it's a wonderful place, and you could actually see one of the countries that's leading the way in um, climate change reduction, because we are a small island developing state, and we are particularly prone to the risks and the effects of climate change. And it's also interesting to note that we're one of the um, largest per capita contributors to carbon emissions. So we really need to take the onus to step ahead and show what we can do to help with this global crisis. So congratulations to everyone. Now I have pleasure in asking Her Excellency Ambassador Edgerton from Costa Rica to say a few words. No doubt the students are very anxious to hear what you have to say. Thank you. I congratulate you for your performance, all the teams. I am really impressed by the knowledge you have demonstrated uh, throughout the, the competition on climate change. I don't know if you're aware that the person who chaired the discussion towards the agreement of the Paris Agreement was a Costa Rican and uh, Cristiana Figueres, and she was a woman, she is a woman. So I think you will um, represent that same cause, uh, noticing that you are all, all uh, girls. I hope you enjoy the country and that you see how much we have in common and how much you can bring to Trinidad and Tobago. I really hope that this is, um, this initiative from Seize It uh, brings us together. I think it is a, a great idea uh, and just putting all this together, this, this effort is, is amazing. And you are 
and all the participants as well, the result of, of their effort and your own effort. Thank you. Now it's my distinct pleasure to invite His Excellency Justice Anthony Kamuna, patron of CZIT, to say a few words. Thank you very much, Donna. Again, good afternoon to everyone. I have to commend the executive and stakeholders of CZIT for the excellent job that you continue to do in Trinidad and Tobago in spreading that philosophy of creating holistic environmental integrity in our lives. I can tell you um, I had the pleasure of being informed about 140 schools taking part in the competition, and an even greater pleasure visiting the 16 finalist schools with Donald and his team. And we spent hours and hours in the east, northwest, and south of Trinidad and Tobago. And I can tell you without, without a doubt that a new dawn is coming in relation to the fight against climate change. And I saw it in the eyes, in the passion, and in the schools that we visited, the 16 finalist schools. Because my, my wife, of course, has been a very strong advocate in pushing the concept of the child advocate. And I'm seeing the benefits of this now, because now the 16 finalists and all those schools who took part in the competition, you can be child advocates in your homes, in your communities, in the nation, and in the world at large. So I want to thank you all very much for the excellent job that you're doing. Because as I've mentioned time and time again, we, our generations, have been irresponsible, we have been apathetic, we have been indifferent, and we have engaged in what I will refer to as environmental misfeasance. And that is why, in fact, it is so important that you young people continue to do what is expected of you and appreciate what your role is. You now have a role that, in fact, we do not fully appreciate. You have a, a responsibility, what I will refer to as an intra and intergenerational responsibility to keep fighting against the ravages of climate change. And this is why I'm asking and beseeching um, Trinidad and Tobago corporate entities to come forward to support this particular project. Because corporate social responsibility is no longer about buying football jerseys for football teams. It is bigger and larger than that. And we're talking about the environment, which we need to ensure remains sustainable so that our children, 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 children are here to enjoy not only Trinidad and Tobago, but the Caribbean region. So again, congratulations. You know, St. Francois, you all always, in fact, pack a punch. <laughs> and, and you all did that today. You know, um, I, I've always admired you, your, 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 your work ethic, the, the, what the teachers are doing to um, engage you to, 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 to build formidable citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And likewise, you know, I admire the work, of course, of bishops and Trinity, you know, in that east-west corridor. You all are a shining light in sometimes the darkness that can envelop us. So I want you, I want you all to, to keep that focus, keep that vision, and continue to be sustainable champions of, um, of the fight against climate change. You are our solutions. Always remember that. So go forth and conquer. Thank you very much. Well, folks, there you have it. All the words have been said, everything has been done and dusted. At the end of it all, St. Francois Girls College becoming the victorious ones at the end of the CZIT National Secondary Schools Climate Quiz. Big thanks to everybody for watching. Thank you very much to all the corporate sponsors and everybody standing behind me, including the patron, former president, Mr. Anthony Kamona. My name is Sachin Ramsebag. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to join us in Costa Rica. <laughs> Oh, we know it because most of us are doing charity and empire.
蛮大的，其次哦，是我自己给大家做的。It was, it was alright. You know, we are so lucky. 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 We are so luc
It's really surprising, but it's also an amazing feeling to know that such hard work was in and the end result was coming victorious of the whole competition. Um, yeah. Jesus! <laughs>